The English actress Kelly Riley is no stranger to fame and fortune. She has been on the radar of British film followers since the late 90s and gained recognition with roles in films like Pride and Prejudice, Mrs. Henderson Presence, and Sherlock Holmes, alongside achievements like True Detective, before her breakout on Yellowstone. Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Kelly Riley. She's the daughter of a London police officer. Kelly Riley comes from a private, non-entertainment family background. Her father was a police officer who worked in various areas of South London, including Lambeth and Southwark. The Brixton riots of 1981 also took place during his 25 years as an officer. The riots were a series of protests that started in London but spread to other cities across the UK as a result of rumors of police brutality against a black man. As the daughter of a police officer who grew up during these protests, she told The Guardian, You hear that people hate the police, like during the recent student protests, and I think, well, they're doing their job and they have kids who want to go to university too. Helen Murren told her not to attend drama school. Early in her career, Riley worked alongside Helen Murren in Prime Suspect at the age of 17. Despite feeling nervous, she found Murren to be supportive and good-humored. Surprisingly, Murren advised Riley against attending drama school. She said, bad idea. In fact, it's probably the worst thing you could do. Travel for three years or go to university, but don't go to drama school. Riley followed this advice and continued her acting career, a decision that seems to have been beneficial for her. She was reluctant to do another horror movie after Eden Lake. Her early career, particularly in the UK, was marked by her role as Michael Fassbender's ill-fated partner in the horror film Eden Lake. The film's success led to her being cautious about taking on darker roles in the future. She told the playlist, it was an unexpectedly huge hit. Ever since then, I've been approaching a lot. I'm wary of them. They're difficult to get right. Despite the film's ruthless and disturbing ending, she appreciated it and felt that the ending's realism added to the horror's impact. While some viewers might have been turned off by the ending, she found the experience of making the film fulfilling. She initially kept her British background a secret from the cast and crew of Yellowstone. During the first two years of filming Yellowstone, Riley, who portrayed the tough character Beth Dutton, kept her heavy UK accent a secret from most of the cast and crew to maintain the illusion of her character. She told Entertainment Weekly, When I first played Beth, I didn't want anyone to know that I was an American. She admitted that several people in the production understandably did know, but she tried to keep it from others, stating, I didn't talk to anyone, unless I was playing Beth. She eventually revealed her secret during the creation of Season 3. She had some scary moments while filming Yellowstone. While filming the first season of Yellowstone, Riley had a frightening experience when her character encountered a wolf pack in one of the episodes. The wolves were real, not computer animated, which made her nervous. She told people, I'm like, well, don't you think their most inner instincts might come out when there's a woman with a bottle of whiskey running up to them? They were like, don't worry, we've got these like invisible pieces of cord, so if they do run at you, that will trip them up. She also had a scary incident while filming in Montana when her GPS led her through a treacherous shortcut with a steep drop on either side. She said, it was like a 1,000 feet drop on either side. I did a drive to a place called Skalkaho Pass. When I got down and was in a bar, I was like, I can't believe I survived. She received a prestigious Lawrence Olivier Theatre Award. At age 26, Riley received the Lawrence Olivier Theatre Award nomination in 2004, becoming the youngest actor to achieve this honor. The Olivier Awards are highly regarded in British theatre. She earned the nomination after starring in After Miss Julie, a Michael Grandich production at the Donmer Warehouse in London's West End in 2003. She wanted to work with horses. Before pursuing acting, Riley had a passion for working with horses and dreamed of a future in equestrian pursuits. She spent time riding and caring for horses at a stable. She told the Evening Standard, I couldn't afford a horse, but I kind of adopted one and spent a lot of time with him. It was an obsession, and if I hadn't discovered acting, I wouldn't be here talking to you. She worked as a groom at a polo club, exercising horses in preparation for competitions. She still rides horses, and her experience became useful when she joined the cast of Yellowstone, where horses play a significant role due to the ranch setting. Despite her riding skills, Riley's character Beth rides horses the least on the show, with the creator noting that Riley is actually the best rider among the cast. She was a big fan of American dramas. In a Yellowstone cast interview, Riley shared details on her early years in the entertainment industry. 
At first, she didn't have her sights set on television or films. Rather, her initial love was theater, which was her career for 15 years. But when she wasn't on stage, she participated in her favorite pastime, getting her fill of popular American dramas. She said, I did watch Dallas and Dynasty every Friday night with my mom in South London in our house, and this faraway world of Americana, of course the culture of American movies and storytelling, I was always in love with it. Her love for American dramas influenced her passion for storytelling and the entertainment industry. Despite initially thinking she'd only experienced such dramas from her couch, she's now a key figure in the gritty world of Yellowstone. The complex role of Beth, with her resilience and memorable one-liners, has resonated with viewers, earning her character a dedicated fanbase and admiration for her strength and tenacity. She was dragged into the Madonna Guy Ritchie divorce scandal. Riley was dragged into a major controversy in 2008 when tabloids speculated about her alleged affair with director Guy Ritchie during the filming of Sherlock Holmes. This came during Ritchie's marriage to pop superstar Madonna, who filed for divorce that year. Riley denied the affair and took the matter to court, eventually winning the case as the rumors were completely false. She stated that the experience was hurtful and embarrassing, and clarified that she had only worked with Richie for a day and barely knew him. She told The Telegraph, I had done one day's filming with him, and said, Hello, how are you? We'd talked about a scene, and before you knew it there were press on my parents' doorstep, going, So, I hear that Kelly's the reason for the divorce. Despite the controversy, Riley has continued to excel in her career, especially in her acclaimed role as Beth Dutton in Yellowstone. She was briefly engaged to Jonah Lawton. Kelly Riley was previously in a relationship with actor Jonah Lawton. The couple got engaged in 2007 but ended their relationship two years later. The notoriously private Yellowstone star won't be drawn on the particulars of the relationship, telling The Independent in 2009, I'd rather not talk about it only because I'm trying to protect myself and my life. It's a bit complicated. When the outlet wondered whether the breakup came about because they found it too difficult to spend time together given their respective busy careers, Riley acknowledged that was certainly part of it. In 2012, she married a financier Kyle Bauer in a private ceremony in Somerset, England.